This is what happens when you actually test engine oil over hundreds of thousands of miles instead of listening to the guy at the quick lube shop. And the results completely contradict what most of us have been told our entire driving lives. Decades of the same advice have conditioned us to believe that 3,000 miles is the magic number, that missing it means your engine transforms into an expensive paperweight. That advice traces back to oil technology from the 1970s, and independent labs have now analyzed hundreds of thousands of samples to figure out what actually matters for engine longevity. What that data reveals, why one of America's most common maintenance practices amounts to throwing money away, and what you should actually do if you want your engine to last 300,000 miles or more are all coming up. The 3,000 mile interval made sense once, back when 1970s conventional oils genuinely needed replacement every two to 3,000 miles to prevent sludge buildup. Base oils and additive packages from that era would break down if you pushed them further. And the recommendation reflected the limitations of the chemistry available at the time. Then the quick lube industry turned it into gospel. Jiffy Lube opened its doors in 1979, Pennzoil acquired the company in 1991, and the business model depended on getting customers back in the bay as often as possible. That little sticker on your windshield reminding you to return in 3,000 miles was a Jiffy Lube invention, a marketing tool dressed up as an engineering recommendation. Oil technology advanced dramatically over the following decades, while the advice stayed frozen in 1975. And that's when things started getting wasteful. By 2008, California's Environmental Protection Agency had seen enough and partnered with General Motors to launch what they literally named the 3,000 Mile Myth Campaign. 73% of California drivers were changing oil more frequently than manufacturers recommended according to their research. Not slightly more, but significantly more. The state put it bluntly, when they announced that the old 3,000-mile standard was out of date and no longer applied to most cars. GM engineers admitted that customers following the old interval would be, in their words, throwing away good oil. Even Jiffy Lube officially abandoned the 3,000-mile recommendation by 2011, which means the company that popularized it finally admitted what the data had been showing for years. Figuring out the right interval requires looking at actual engine wear data, and that's where Blackstone Laboratories comes in. Blackstone has been analyzing engine oil since 1985 out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, using the same inductively coupled plasma spectrometry found in forensic labs. Their process injects oil samples into a plasma flame at 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and the elements emit unique light frequencies that reveal exactly what's happening inside an engine down to parts per million. Iron from cylinder walls and camshafts, copper from bearings, aluminum from pistons, silicon from dirt sneaking past air filters, all of it shows up in the analysis. Think of it as a blood test for your engine, and Blackstone has performed hundreds of thousands of these tests across virtually every engine type you can name. Their findings on brand performance surprised me the most. Over 5,000 Subaru 2.5-liter turbo engines running 10 different oil brands showed ironware ranging from just 8 to 11 parts per million regardless of which brand sat in the crankcase. The gap between the best performing oil and the worst came out to about half a part per million per thousand miles, a difference Blackstone compared to mixing half of a two-liter bottle of Sprite into an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Brand loyalty might feel good, but the data shows it barely moves the needle on actual engine wear. What does move the needle is meeting the correct specification for your engine, whether that's APISP, ILSA CGF6 or GM Dexos 1 Gen 3 for General Motors vehicles. The certification printed on the bottle matters far more than the name above it. Here's where the data gets counterintuitive because Blackstone's numbers show that longer oil change intervals actually produce lower wear rates per mile rather than higher ones. Volkswagen 1.9 liter TDI engines in their database showed iron wear dropping from over 7 parts per million per thousand miles at 6,700 mile intervals down to under 3 parts per million per thousand miles when owners stretched to 10,000 miles between changes. The explanation has to do with residual oil from previous fills becoming less significant over longer runs, which means you end up measuring a cleaner sample of what's actually wearing in your engine rather than diluted leftovers from the last change. None of this suggests you should never change your oil, but the panic around hitting exactly 3,000 miles comes from feelings rather than physics. 
The most rigorous independent comparison of synthetic versus conventional oil came from the American Automobile Association in June of 2017. AAA ran eight standardized ASTM international tests at ISO 17025 certified laboratories on five randomly selected brands in both synthetic and conventional formulations, and the results left no room for interpretation. 47% better overall performance came from the synthetic oils across the test battery. Viscosity held up 93% better under shear stress. Cold flow at negative 38 degrees Celsius improved by 73%. Evaporation loss dropped by 46%. And piston deposits decreased by 41%. But here's the finding that should worry anyone still running conventional oil in a modern engine. Not a single one of the tested conventional oils met the minimum SAE viscosity specification after shear testing, meaning they thinned out beyond acceptable limits under stress. 8AA calculated the yearly cost difference between synthetic and conventional at about $64, which works out to $5.33 per month. That's the price of protecting your engine with oil that actually holds up under modern operating conditions. Real-world examples show what proper maintenance looks like over hundreds of thousands of miles and beyond. Two documented Toyota Tundras have exceeded 1 million miles, starting with Victor Shepard's 2007 model that hit the mark after nine years and 117 dealership service visits. That averages out to about 8,500 miles between services, and Toyota's teardown of his engine showed remarkably good internal condition. The second million-mile Tundra, a 2008 model, crossed the threshold in October of 2020, running mobile 15W20 at 10,000 mile intervals, while regularly towing loads between 500 and 2,500 pounds. Neither truck followed the 3,000 mile religion, and both reached seven figures on their odometers with quality synthetic oil at manufacturer recommended intervals. Consumer Reports ran their own long-term test back in 1996 using 75 New York City taxicabs across 20 different oils for four and a half million total miles. The engines went in with precisely measured rebuilt parts and came out disassembled for inspection. And their conclusion landed simply, no brand performed best, and every API certified oil adequately protected the engine. The difference between engines changed at 3,000 miles and those changed at 6,000 miles turned out to be nothing meaningful which led Consumer Reports to recommend that 7,500-mile intervals should provide adequate protection for most drivers. Running the math over 300,000 miles makes the financial picture clear. Changing conventional oil every 3,000 miles means 100 oil changes across the life of the vehicle, and at roughly $33 per DIY change that adds up to $3,300 in oil costs. Switching to quality synthetic at 7,500-mile intervals drops that to 40 changes, bringing the total down to about $17,060. Manufacturer approved 10,000 mile intervals with synthetic oil cut the number to 30 changes and roughly $1,320 total. An extended drain synthetic like Mobile One. Extended performance at 20,000 mile intervals brings everything down to 15 changes over the vehicle's life. $855 covers the entire 300,000 miles. That last option saves nearly $2,500 compared to the 3,000-mile conventional approach, while actually providing better protection according to every independent test available. All of this data comes with limits that matter for certain drivers. Severe conditions like constant stop-and-go traffic, trips under 10 miles, heavy towing, dusty environments, and extreme temperatures accelerate oil degradation faster than the averages suggest, which is why manufacturer severe service schedules exist. One documented case involved a parks and recreation vehicle, showing 77,000 miles on the odometer that actually had equivalent wear to 270,000 miles when idle time got factored in. That owner's warranty claim came back denied. Extended drain intervals work well and the data supports them strongly, but they don't apply universally. Brutal driving conditions demand maintenance schedules that reflect the abuse. The safest approach for anyone pushing boundaries involves periodic oil analysis, and Blackstone charges about $35 per sample. Their reports cover exactly how your oil holds up, what your wear metals look like, 
whether fuel dilution or coolant contamination has crept in, and how far you can safely extend your intervals. An annual physical for your engine costs less than a single unnecessary oil change. Everything comes back to this. 3,000 mile oil changes made sense 50 years ago for oils that would turn to sludge in engines with looser tolerances. But that reality stopped existing decades ago. Modern synthetic oils meeting current API SP and ILSAC GF6 specifications handle intervals of 7,500 to 15,000 miles depending on the vehicle. Manufacturers who built these engines determined those numbers, not marketing departments trying to sell more oil. Independent lab data confirms that brand matters far less than specification compliance. The AAA study proves synthetic oils dramatically outperform conventional under stress. Real-world examples demonstrate that engines can reach a million miles with proper synthetic oil at manufacturer-recommended intervals. Nobody needs to change their oil every 3,000 miles. Using the right oil for your engine, changing it when the manufacturer says to, and keeping your money instead of handing it to an industry promoting 40-year-old advice is what 300,000 miles of data actually shows. If this changed how you think about oil changes, leave a comment and let me know. And if you want more content breaking down what actually matters for making your car last, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.